hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this amazing overnight leave-in spray for a massive hair growth if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel in this channel i do diy videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients so if you're interested you know what to do grab a seat and let's get into it To make this leave-in conditioner spray, you're going to need fresh rosemary leaves, mint leaves and lemongrass. So I went ahead and rinsed off the leaves, then I'm going to be adding them to the pots. So rosemary is one of the best natural ingredients for hair growth. It promotes and stimulates hair growth. It's amazing at treating hair loss. The next ingredient I'm going to be adding to the pot is mint leaves. So mint leaves is amazing at promoting hair growth and preventing air fall. It also treats scalp issues such as dandruffs. I'm also going to be adding lemongrass to this leave-in spray. Lemongrass is known to strengthen the hair follicles which helps to fight hair loss. It's a rich source of iron so we all know that iron plays a major part in our hair growth. So if you lack iron you definitely want to incorporate lemongrass in your hair care routine. The last ingredient we are going to be adding is green tea. You can also use black tea if you don't have green tea. I'm going to be leaving all the ingredients that I'm using in this video in the description box. Then I went ahead and add two cup of water, then I'm going to transfer it to the cooker. I'm going to allow it to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. If you don't like the method that I'm doing, you can also do other method, okay? This method is as effective as the other two method. So just pick any method that works for you. So the green tea is optional if you don't have it. You can just use um, the rosemary leaves, the mint leaves and the lemongrass. After 15 minutes, this is how it looks like. I turn off the cooker, then I allow the leave-in spray to cool down before transferring it to my applicator bottle. This is how it looks like once it's cooled down, okay? So I went ahead and strain it. guys can you see how the color of the spray is looking okay so make sure your leave-in spray looks like this in terms of the color so if the color is not like this okay then it's not ready to be used so just allow it to boil for a few more minutes now i just went ahead and transfer it to my spray bottle for easy use you can use this as a hair rinse but to get the best benefit use it as a leave-in instead i'm going to go ahead and add few drop of my diy oil so this is how it looks like your leave-in spray is now ready to be used in this video i'm going to show you guys two ways you can apply this leave-in conditioner to your hair for a faster hair growth the first way you can apply this leave-in conditioner is whenever you have a protective style. I applied the leave-in spray to the entire hair and scalp. Then I went in to massage the scalp. I make sure the hair is saturated with the leave-in spray. Make sure to apply it to your edges, your crown section, and the back of your hair. Basically, anywhere you are experiencing air loss. Then I usually just go in and massage it in again. This leave-in spray is amazing. All the ingredients that we added are all natural and won't cause any harm to your hair. I also make sure to apply it to the ends, okay? You can also use this leave-in conditioner spray to moisturize your hair after you have washed your hair. Then I went ahead and apply my DIY butter. Always make sure to seal in moisture whenever you use any leave-in spray, okay? If you don't, your hair will become dry later on. 
so please make sure to seal in moisture whenever you apply any leave-in spray i have different kind of hair butter and oil on my channel so do definitely check out my channel and you can make yourself one or you can use any of your favorite um leave-in cream base or any oil of your choice also make sure to apply the hair butter and the oil to your ends because our ends are the oldest part and it needs extra care you can also use this spray on your edges if you're experiencing hair loss on your edges you can apply it to your edges every other night i would personally say apply it to your hair every day but who has time to be applying it every day it's a lot so just make sure to apply it every other day but if you have that time that is great okay so just apply it every day if you have that time okay you would definitely see results quicker after applying it to the edges then i went in for a few minutes and massage this is very very important okay if you're experiencing hair loss on your edges hair shedding hair breakage scalp massaging it's really really good it's one of the fastest way to grow your hairline back then i'm going to go ahead and apply my hair fertilizer i have this on my channel as well i applied the hair fertilizer to the entire edges then i went in and massage it in as i said before scalp massage helps to stimulate hair growth so make sure to massage your scalp So guys, we have come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment down below if you have any question for me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys. Bye.